Yo, Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Uh, it's a good time for football. Good time to be alive. Except going to these holiday parties. I swear to God, I was at a party uh, on Saturday. I had like a hundred people there. I know I'm going to be deathly ill for a good week after that. I'm not calling my wife's side of the family dirty or anything. They're not. But that's just what happens around this time of year. But it doesn't matter. We enjoy ourselves. We have some fun. You guys will go to some parties. You'll get, but we can watch football in the process because we got more Thursday, Saturday, Sunday football, Christmas Eve, Christmas, then Monday night football. But of course, we got to get through week 15 before we get to any of that. And if you didn't <laughs> dude, if you didn't think, I can't help but laugh at this. If we didn't think the season was crazy already, and I did not have the best week. We didn't think the season was crazy already. I and mean, we did get the Colts covered, but largest game, largest comeback in history. Uh Jacoby Myers, may I honestly feel bad for the guy. If, if he was in if he was on the Eagles, I would have wanted him tossed off the Walt Whitman Bridge on his way out of Philadelphia. But he's not. I felt bad for him. But what a horrible play that was. The Jaguars get the pick uh, to win that game in overtime. The list goes on. Just an amazing, amazing week. We're going to close it out with a little bit of Green Bay Packers, LA Rams in the frozen tundra here for Monday Night Football. I got a side. I got a total. I got a prop. But I also got a nice little nice little thing to give back to you guys for the holidays. Uh, because here at Odd Shopper, we, we just partnered with BetMGM. And we're giving you guys a $20, $25, sorry, free bet. And you get up to $1,000, which is always the case, risk-free bet on top of that. All you got to do is use the link in the description or the one that's pinned to the comments. That's it. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas to you. You sign up, you deposit $10, you get a $25 free bet. And anything that loses on that $10 plus that you decide to deposit, you get back in free bets. That's what makes it so great. Risk-free and the $25 free bet from us to you for this holiday season. So if you want to get in on the action, just use the link in the description. Just use the link in the pinned comment. Sign up, deposit 10 bucks, get your $25 free bet. No strings attached to that whatsoever. And anything you play, any bet you make on your first bet, you're also getting all of that back in free bets if it loses. Merry Christmas, happy Hanukkah. Whatever it is you celebrate, we got you here on the Odd Shopper channel. Let's get into it. All right, so you got the Packers laying seven points at home. Now, I think there's some people that might look at this and go, yeah, ah, the Packers have stunk this year. The, I'm one of them, to be completely honest with you. Like we, we've done a, We've made some money fading the Packers this season, but I still have a very difficult time looking at this Rams team and going, yeah, you know what? They got what it takes here. It's going to be what? 15 degrees at kickoff. Going to feel like 10. It's going to be cold as shit out there at Lambeau. Now look, but these are professional football players, and we saw Miami, much to my surprise, keep that game competitive against Buffalo. Of course, it wasn't snowing like we thought. It wasn't as windy as we thought it'd be, but you get the point. Uh, but still, coming out from L.A., when you look at Baker Mayfield, the guy gets off the plane. They throw him, they, hey, here, put this helmet on. You're playing. You're coming in. Right? Like, he probably just got to the stadium, which is why he didn't play the first drive. He wasn't dressed yet. He comes in. He get the game-winning drive. But let's be completely honest. The Raiders, as they always do, with undisciplined defense, they shot themselves in the foot. They they, they took a, a stupid unsportsmanlike penalty. They let the, the, the Rams drive 98 yards down the field for that touchdown game-winning drive uh, on the pass to Van Jefferson. They had the pass interference penalty. Like, it never should have come down to that as double-digit favorites. Now, they're on the road, the Rams on the road, without Aaron Donald on defense. That's huge. Cooper Cup's on the IR. Allen Robinson's on the IR, which means you're getting 100% of snaps from Ben Skoranek. You know, uh, Van Jefferson might be the only NFL caliber, or sorry, active roster caliber player on this team. He's going to play most of the snaps. But then you're talking like 2-2 Atwell and, and Powell and Higby, who has just become a complete ghost. Like 25% target share through the first month of the season, he's gone. Doesn't matter who's starting a quarterback. He's on the field. He exists. But you wouldn't know so from the box score. And the biggest thing when it comes down to this game for me is, and I'll get to both sides, I'll get to a total as well, and of course the prop. The biggest for me is you're looking at this going, okay, how do you beat the Packers? You beat the Packers by running the shit out of the football. But like they can't pat they, they don't run block well at all with the Rams. Cam Akers, I was looking at his over uh, or his longest uh, rushing prop for today. It was 13 and a half. And I go, that doesn't seem that bad. But the guy hasn't broken off a long run more than what? Once all season long? 
if they can't if, if they can't establish something on the ground and you're relying on Baker Mayfield against what is still a top secondary for the Green Bay Packers, I think you're going to be in a heck of a lot of trouble. So on the other side, Rodgers has been banged up all year. They had a bye week. He gets some time to get healthier. Romeo Dobbs returns, although Matt LaFleur said he's going to you know, ease him back into action, won't have his plate too full, as I think what he said. But Christian Watson's been coming on strong. You still have Alan Lazard. You get a strong backfield. And the Rams, to their credit, we'll get to this with the total, they still have a good defense, specifically on the ground game. But I think with everybody getting healthier, the passing game, albeit a sketchy one throughout the year, should be able to do enough for the Packers. Once again, though, do the Rams have what it takes on the ground to get it done? I don't think they do, which means you have to rely on Baker Mayfield, who got a lot of favorable breaks his way. You know, no fault of his own, but in that last game, a lot of favorable breaks and a comeback victory against a, a, a Raiders team that, you know, to win yesterday needed a <laughs> Jacoby Myers backwards pass to Mac Jones, who got just destroyed on that by Chandler Jones. I think you get the point here. Super cold weather, Lambeau Field, favorable spot. And the one weakness, that the, the one big weakness on the defense for the Green Bay Packers is, in fact, another big weakness for this L.A. Rams offense. I'm going to lay the seven on the Packers. Is this the most confident pick I've had all season? No, but it's a one game. It's a one game Monday. We got to pick something and we're going to go with the Packers. I'm also going to go with the total here because it's 39 and a half. It's cold as hell. And both of these offenses have been largely inferior all season long. Again, I'm not buying into Baker Mayfield. I don't think they get enough going on the ground. And if they do, they chew up clock. So it probably helps us anyway. But the Rams still have a top five run defense in the league, according to Football Outsiders. Losing Aaron Donald certainly hurt, which is why I think the Packers win this game. They'll be able to do more through the air against the Rams' 23rd ranked secondary. But I would expect this game to be lower scoring. Could be looking at like a 24 to 14. We get under there, you know. 21 to, to 13 type game would get us under a spot like that makes a lot of sense. I'm going to go under 39 and a half here uh, for all the reasons we talked about with the spread, but also the reasons we talked about right now. And of course, a prop, as I always give them to you, if you want to make this your free bet, you want to take advantage of this, maybe on the thousand dollar up to a thousand dollar a risk free bet over at BetMGM. Now that we've partnered with them for this holiday giveaway, which is only good through the 26th of December, by the way, December 19th through the 26th holiday season. That's it. You want to take advantage of this? If you lose, you get your money back anyway, right? Christian Watson over 47 and a half receiving yards, minus 115 over there at BetMGM. It's pretty simple. Christian Watson is someone who it took him a long time to develop, but since Romeo Dobbs went out in week nine and Christian Watson came back in full capacity in week 10, he leaves the team with a 23% target share. Yes, you still have running backs involved in the passing game. You still have Alan Lazard. I don't think Dobbs will be very active in this game at all. You still have some guys, you know, Randall Cobb, whatever. But Christian Watson has nine deep targets over his last four games. He could easily, he could easily cover this, the, the over here. He could hit the over on one reception against the Rams defense that is 23rd in pass defense DVOA that has given up big plays through the air this season. So he's getting a lot of deep attempts. He has been Aaron Rodgers' preferred target right now, uh, especially over the last month. And he seems every week to be getting better and better. The guy has nine total touchdowns over the last four weeks. It seems unusual and unlikely that they would go, nah, let's just get away from him here. We, we don't, let's get away from him. He's been awesome, but let's go somewhere else. And now if we can assume that Aaron Rodgers is a little healthier after finally taking a week off, after being banged up from head to toe, it's only going to favor Christian Watson more than it did in those previous weeks. So give me over 47 and a half receiving yards on Watson. That's minus 115 at BetMGM. Best odds you're going to find there. Again, take advantage of the risk-free bet. Link in the description in the pinned comment. Uh, under 39 and a half and Packers minus seven. I'll be back with you guys Thursday. But if you're not here to see any of these, I'll be back Wednesday as well with the picks for every game. If you're not here to see them, have a great holidays, guys. And we'll catch you back here in a couple days. Peace.